Hello, welcome to this video where we look at some examples of triple integrals in spherical. In the previous video, we just introduced spherical coordinates and tried to figure out why the Jacobian ends up being rho squared sine of phi. Now let's do some actual examples. This one's labeled example seven. It is not finding volume of a 3D shape. We have an actual function on the inside that isn't a one, it's x squared. And the region that we integrate in over is 3D. It's going to be the region that is bounded by these two hemispheres and the XZ plane. So first off, we have to figure out what is, what's going on with these hemispheres. Let's get a good drawing of the shape. So the way it's listed, y equals square root and y equals square root. If you square both sides, hopefully you can see that we're talking about two spheres. Uh, we're only talking about the, the positive y values, of course, but um, they come from two spheres, um, one of radius 3 and one of radius 4. So here's a good drawing of the, uh, of the shape. Okay. If y equals the square root of 9 minus x squared minus z squared, square both sides, move this negative guys over, it's, it's called rho equals 3. Because x squared plus y squared plus z squared is rho squared. All right, do the same thing with the other. You'll get rho equals 4. So rho is going to go between 3 and 4. We're talking about the volume that's in between these. Okay. All right, great. What about theta? So theta starts out at 0, and then you swing. But you don't go all the way around to 0 to 2 pi. You go halfway around 0 to pi. What about phi? Phi equals 0 is the positive z-axis. And you come down. Now all the way down to phi equals pi. So 0 to pi. These are all numerical bounds. What about the integrand? x squared. What's x? x is equal to what well, was r sine uh, r cosine theta but now r is rho sine phi so rho sine phi cosine theta is what x is you square that rho squared sine squared phi cosine squared theta that's the integrand but then there's dv there's a jacobian that shouldn't all be in red just the rho squared sine phi should be in red there the order well there's not really a debate about which order you should do you uh, most often you do rho first, and then phi, and then theta. But if there's some reason you wanted to interchange those, you can. It won't be beneficial, like uh, unless there's something going on in that picture that would make you want to decide to not do it in that order. But pretty much 95, 99% of the time, this is the order: rho, phi, and then theta. But these are all numerical bounds. And this integrand is separable. Rho squared, rho squared. That's rho to the fourth. Sine squared phi, sine phi. That's sine cubed phi. Cosine squared theta. Yeah, that's separate functions. If you could separate the function to be functions of only the in individual variables and the bounds are numerical, then you could separate it into single variable integrals. Let's go calculate these three integrals and put the answers back together by multiplying the results. All right, let's start off with the sine cubed. It might be the hardest one, actually. So what you have to do for power of sine, that's odd, is factor one out. The other two that's there, or if there's uh, multiples of two, uh, what we need to do with those is convert those to cosine squared, because we're going to do a u sub. So we need to convert to the partner trig function. We peeled off this sine. We factored out the sine so we can make that be part of du. So we'll have 1 minus cosine squared on phi times the sine of phi. If you let u be cosine phi, then du is negative sine phi, d phi. Multiply by negative 1. You can replace sine phi d phi with negative 1 du. Well, then um, you have negative then 1 du, and then the parentheses is 1 minus u squared now. Go ahead, move that negative on the inside and call it u squared minus 1. Integrate. Get u cubed over 3 minus u. Go back into cosine phi and get cosine phi cubed over 3. 
minus cosine phi. It's from zero to pi. Be careful, cosine of pi is a negative one while cosine of zero is a positive one. So you get the negative one that you have to cube and then there's negatives and negatives. Just be very, very careful. The first guy should be a negative one third, but then you should plus one to that. Then you get a negative one third distributing plus one to that. So negative two thirds plus two, the result of that is four thirds. All right, great. How about the cosine squared? That hand, that's handled differently. There's no odd power present. With just even powers present, we use half angle identity. Replace cosine squared theta with one half, one plus the cosine on twice theta, the quantity. Pull out the half, integrate the, the one, get the theta, integrate the cosine two theta, you get half sine two theta. Put a pi in, you're gonna get zero for sine of twice pi. But you'll get the pi there though uh, from the theta. It's just a pi. Everything else will zero out. There's that half there, so pi over two. And you're two thirds of the way done. So then we have this row fourth. This is kind of unfortunate. You have to take four to the fifth minus three to the fifth, unfortunately. Um, four to the fifth, the same thing as two to the tenth. Hopefully that's recognizable as 1024. And then three to the fifth is um, taking 81 and times it by three, so 843. Difference there is 781, some strange number. But anyway, there we have it. 781 over five. And then you multiply the three parts together uh, over 15. You double 781 and you get 1562. Okay. All right, great. Let's move to example eight. In example eight, we're trying to find the volume that is in the hemisphere dome, but outside of this full sphere that's on the inside. That sphere is not centered at the origin either. That sphere is centered at a half on the Z axis. So when you integrate, when you do a triple integral and spherical, you come radially outward into space. I like to put those circles on the ends. So I'm not talking about the part that's inside of the yellow full sphere. I'm talking about outside of that and inside the green hemisphere dome. And so we're going to have rho starts at cosine phi. That's the name of the yellow hem, uh, fully sphere, full sphere. And then uh, we go from cosine phi and then we go out to rho equals two. That's the name of the hemisphere dome. That's the rho bounds. Okay. What about the phi bounds? Phi starts at zero. And since we're talking about in the xy plane, what does phi become? Pi over two. When it comes to theta, of course, we're talking about all of theta, zero to two pi. So our setup is rho between cosine phi and two, phi between zero and pi over two, Theta between 0 and 2 pi. It's a volume question, so there's a 1 on the inside, but from the Jacobian, we get rho squared sine phi. And let's go do that on the next slide. Um, it's not all numerical now. We can't do that separation. Integrate rho. Get rho cubed over 3. I don't know why that's still in red, the sine phi part. But anyway, um, you put the 2 in, you get 8 thirds. You can pull the, let's pull the 1 third all the way out. So you put the 2 in, you get 8. And then you put the cosine phi in, unfortunately you have cosine phi who is cubed. Now we're into a double integral. And we have this eight minus cosine phi who's cubed. That quantity is times sine phi. That's perfect for a u sub. Okay. We can let u be cosine phi and then du will be negative sine phi d phi. Um, I think what I've done here is actually distribute the sine phi across. So let me just deal with the, you know, the eight sine phi. I can integrate that. And when it comes to the cosine phi cubed times sine phi, we could do a u sub on that part. So if u is cosine phi, then du is negative one times sine phi d phi multiplied by negative one. And you get the fact that, um, well, it's already a negative one out there actually, right? So negative sine phi d phi is just going to be du. So u cubed to u it is, who's u to the fourth over four. So we integrate eight sine phi to get a cosine phi, negative. 
we integrate this negative cosine phi cubed sine phi and we end up with cosine phi fourth over four. Put in a pi over two, put in a zero, but the cosine of pi over two is already zero. So the upper limit gives you zero. The lower limit, cosine of zero, well, that's a one. So you get negative eight plus a fourth. And remember now, it's upper limit minus lower limit. So it's actually eight minus a fourth. And that's 32 minus one, 30, 31 over four. There's still the one third out there. So 31 over 12. And then you get this little two pi multiplier here because you're integrating theta lastly, but there's a one there from two pi and zero. You end up with a uh, 31 pi over six for your answer. Okay. And since we're trying to find volume, I want you to know that we could have done this outside the box thinking like, of course, this is the answer, triple integrals, that's okay. Um, if you figure you can do something outside the box and think about it that way, that's fine. I won't accept it for the full answer. I won't want you to use the, the calculus. You can use this as like knowing what the answer is. But yeah, I have a hemisphere dome. I know how to find a volume. Back in geometry class, you figured that out. Volume of a sphere and volume of a hemisphere. You can subtract. That'll give you the volume of the in-between. So the hemisphere has a radius of 2. While the sphere, be careful, um, that goes from 0 to 1. So the sphere has a radius of a half. Um, the hemisphere is half of four-thirds pi r cubed, and a sphere is just four-thirds pi r cubed. But you're cubing the two, giving you eight. You're cubing the half, giving you one-eighth. All right, so what you can do is some canceling there. You'll see that you take 16 pi over three, and then pi over six and subtract that. Okay, and that's 32 pi over six minus the pi over six. That is the same 31 pi over six. All right, let's go ahead and end the video there. 12 minutes is long enough. My name is Nakai Rimmer. Thank you for watching. Please like and subscribe. Comment down below. Reach out to me if you have any questions. I will see you in the next video.